Our next presenter is Brenda Fonseca. Brenda will be talking about fluoroglow lutein and the eye as well as brain benefits as it relates to the gamer. Uh, fluoroglow lutein, uh, as I've mentioned before, is the, the gold standard of lutein with over 90 publications. And uh, Brenda is also our resident neuroscientist, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Brenda to share a little bit more about fluoroglow lutein. Hello, I'm really glad to be here. As Kim said, I'm Brenda Fonseca. I'm a Senior Technical Service Manager at Kimmin Human Nutrition and Health. And today I want to talk to you about fluoroglow lutein and how it relates to the gamer opportunity. So uh, I think you're getting a really good mix here of information and I hope you have a lot that you take away from all these talks. Um, as you know, and as has been mentioned in some of the previous talks, the gamers have some very specific challenges. So some of the things that they need to deal with are blue light exposure. We saw that that is a, a primary concern among millennials, among gamers. They also have to deal with glare. They need to deal with visual processing requirements as they're playing these games and having to keep track of all this visual information, as well as memory demands. And so now as you're putting together ingredients, thinking about how can you provide a supplement that maybe helps these individuals with these types of demands, you want to get an ingredient that can address as many of these concerns as possible. And that's really where fluoroglow lutein comes in. So fluoroglow lutein is the gold standard of lutein. We not only are the most researched lutein brand worldwide, we have over 90 human clinical publications with fluoroglow. We're also the blue light brand. We're the author of a patent showing how lutein filters blue light. And we're safe across the lifespan, which actually is a very unique attribute for a cognitive health ingredient. So we are the only lutein brand that's been grass approved for infant nutrition formula. So I'll come back to these and talk about these, but I just wanted to give you that already um, overall idea of what fluoroglow lutein is. Now, if you're not familiar with fluoroglow lutein, let me step back for a second and explain what lutein is. Lutein is a carotenoid found in all those yummy vegetables we all like to eat, like kale and spinach. So the dark green leafy vegetables, corn, avocado, eggs. Um, it actually is not something that we produce in our bodies. So if we're gonna get lutein, we must get it from the diet or we must get it from supplementation. And actually, fluoroglow lutein is in the same form as what's found in food. Uh, typically, lutein and zeaxanthin are found in a ratio of 5 to 1. Um, and they're deposited in various areas in the body. In particular, we're going to focus on the eye and the brain. So here we have a schematic of a little eyeball. Here's the front of the eyeball. There's the back. You see here, back here, that yellow is actually the lutein and zeaxanthin. So it's a plant-based pigment, pigment, actually yellow in color, and you can actually see that yellow pigment in the retina of the eye. Um, and that makes it very unique as an ingredient because we have a way to measure that. So let me go to the next slide here. We kind of flipped the eyeball around. So here's your eye, light's coming in there. Here's your lutein and zeaxanthin. This is actually a photo micrograph of the retina and you can actually see the yellow of the lutein and zeaxanthin is actually present in the back of the eye. That yellow is called macular pigment. It's made up of these macular carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin, and it serves a very important role. For one, it protects your, the back of your eye, the photoreceptors from blue light. Second, it plays a, pr a tremendous role in some visual processing, like contrast sensitivity, glare recovery, photo stress recovery. And we know that the level that's found in the eye is actually related to the amount of lutein in your brain. And so there's actually a non-invasive way to find out how much lutein you have in the back of your eye. It's called macular pigment optical density testing, or MPOD, and you get a score from zero all the way up to a little over one if you really are eating all your spinach. Um, and you can actually test that. We actually have two devices here to, um, at the show, so I really encourage you to come by. We're at booth 4023 and get your MPOD uh, values tested. If you look through a little viewfinder, it takes about two minutes, doesn't hurt at all, non-invasive, click a little clicker, and you can see where you are. You you might be quite surprised. Maybe everyone, you know, we always think the best of ourselves, so everyone might think they're up here. Uh, the average uh, in the U.S. is closer to a 0.2. 
down here. If you look at our diet, that makes sense. Uh, here is the average intake from the diet of lutein and zeaxanthin for Americans. You can find your age group down here, so somewhere I'm probably in one of these uh, groups here. The blue represents the average intake of lutein. The orange represents the average intake of zeaxanthin. This is what most of us are eating. Here's where we should be based on the clinical science. The recommended dosage of lutein and zeaxanthin a day is 10 milligrams of lutein and 2 milligrams of zeaxanthin. So most of us are not getting it from the diet. So as I said, come by. People are always surprised. It's very interesting. We have people come every year and get retested. We're in booth 4023. So that's one very interesting thing to look at. Um, so why it matters? Why do we care about how much lutein we have? Well, today I want to talk about three functions that really are related to the gamer opportunity. So the amount of fluoroglolutein, the amount of lutein you have in your body helps you protect, process, and perform. So we're talking about blue light protection. I'm going to start and just let you know a little bit of the science behind that. Talk about visual processing and then talk about cognitive performance. All three of these things are essential for the gamer, the casual gamer all the way up to the e-athlete that's performing and gaming 12 to 14 hours a day. So let's start here with blue light protection and what we know about lutein and how that protects our eye. So. We all have a lot of devices going on. We're getting actually exposed to a tremendous amount of blue light. If you look at this graph here, it shows you the spectrum that's being emitted from some devices. And in here is the blue light um, uh, wavelength. And what you see is the devices, especially that gamers like, so smartphones and video games, emit a tremendous amount of blue light. Not very many people are using their cathode ray TV sets anymore, so they're not getting that low amount of blue light. We're all getting exposed to a ton of blue light. Long-term effects include retinal damage, poor glare recovery, um, reduced visual performance, and age-related eye conditions. So it's not good. I think there's a growing consumer awareness that this is not good to be exposed to this blue light. The blue light comes into our eye, goes to the back, and can damage the retina. So where does lutein come into play? Well, actually, lutein and zeaxanthin are deposited at a very special place in the retina. So this is a picture of your retina, so a little uh, subsection here. You can see the light is coming in. The lutein and zeaxanthin are actually deposited right before the photoreceptors, especially in the most sensitive area of the eye where we have the highest visual acuity. So here you see rods and cones, and the lutein and zeaxanthin are deposited right there. The amount of yellow that's right there directly corresponds to how much blue light will be absorbed and how much will actually protect those photoreceptors. So critical amount that needs to be there and that really has to come from diet or supplementation. All blue light is not bad. You know, some people try and wear like yellow glasses and other ways to filter it out, but we do want some blue light coming in. So actually these cells right here are called IPRGCs, are intrinsic photosensitive retinal ganglion cells, and they actually respond to blue light to help reset our circadian cycles. So we want some blue light coming in, so we don't want to necessarily filter it with sunglasses. We want lutein and zeaxanthin to do their job in the back of the eye. All right, so we got the blue light protection, clearly something that's critical, clearly something that lutein is very well developed to help us naturally uh, protect our eyes from blue light. What about visual processing? So these are things like glare recovery, photo stress recovery. So when your sh a flash of light flashes in front of your eye, how long does it take you to see headlights at night? How long does it take you to recover from that? Contrast sensitivity, as well as just simple visual processing speeds. We have science on fluoroglolutein for all of these outcomes, showing that when you supplement with fluoroglolutein, you have improvements in these areas of visual processing. So I picked three studies to show you. These are studies that have been uh, done specifically with supplementing with fluoroglolutein. The studies supplemented for either six months up to a year. The study sizes were everywhere from 34 up to 109 subjects. And they supplemented with 10 milligrams of fluoroglolutein and two milligrams of OptiSharp zeaxanthin. And we looked at different areas of, of photo um, visual processing, so contrast sensitivity, which is, I'll show you an example of, photo stress recovery, which is your ability to recover from those flashes of light. If you think about gaming and everything that's going on with the lights, it's how well can your eyes recover from that. And then glare disability. 
So they all found significant improvements in these areas with supplementation. And just to give you, a, you know, how does this relate then to my real life world? Uh, let's look at contrast sensitivity. Again, statistically significant benefits in several of the studies and also clinically relevant benefits. And so when we talk about contrast sensitivity, what we're talking about is your ability to distinguish a, a, a uh, object from a background. So you're out on the golf course, you hit the ball, can you find that white ball against the blue sky? Can you guys see it there? Oh, you guys are all taking your lutines. Excellent. So there it is. If you have trouble seeing it, that's where that contrast sensitivity comes in and you really need to uh, be thinking about how to improve the visual processing within your eyes. These are all areas that are essential for the gamer, and really it's coming all together with supplementation with fluoroglow lutein. Finally, the area of research that's extremely exciting, I'd say a newer area of research that we're extremely excited about, um, is the idea of cognitive performance. So as you may or may not realize, the eye is actually an extension of the brain. So the retina actually develops from the same neural tube as the brain. It's full, full of neurons, which the brain is also full of neurons. So the fact that we know so much of how lutein benefits the eye, it makes sense that we're now finding out the lutein benefits the brain. So we know that lutein is found in the brain. Not only is it found in the brain, it's actually the major carotenoid in the brain. It's found in the brain all the way from infancy up to centenarians. So we know it's found across the lifespan. And it's found in the brain in higher concentrations than what we see in our diet or what we see in our blood levels or our serum levels. And what, that's super significant because what that means is that our body is actually actively transporting lutein from our blood into our brain. So we know if our body is going to be spending that much energy to get that molecule or get that nutrient into our brain, it must be doing something important. So we are very excited, very exciting, um, and hot, kind of hot topics of research right now is the role of lutein in cognitive performance and brain health. Fluoroglow lutein actually currently has eight clinical publications looking at specifically when you give a healthy adult fluoroglow lutein, what happens to cognitive function, what happens to brain performance. We again are the most researched brand. We definitely have the most science on the role of lutein in the brain. So. Um, I wanted to just pick, uh, all right, someone's got a phone call. Um, I wanted to just pick one of these studies. Uh, you know, if this is something that's interesting to you, come by our booth, meet with a team member, and we are happy to dive into these details. We're very excited about the science. We have a lot of insights to share from this science. I just picked one study I thought was going to be relevant, and that was a study that was conducted by Dr. Lisa Rinzi Hammond from the University of Georgia. This is in young, healthy adults. So these are individuals at the peak of their cognitive performance. She did a randomized, double-blind, controlled study. She she, um, she supplemented for one year. So individuals either took 10 milligrams of fluoroglow lutein or two milligram, and two milligrams of OptiSharp zeaxanthin, or they took placebo. And she looked at serum levels of lutein and zeaxanthin, she looked at MPOD levels, and she looked at cognitive outcomes. She used actually the same test battery that Paul talked about, CNS Vital Signs, very well validated computerized cognitive test battery. And what she found was extremely exciting. So she found that not only did serum levels increase, not only did MPOD values increase, but she found significant improvements in cognitive performance. And again, remember, these are individuals, really our cognitive performance peaks in our 20s. So these are at the top of their game. And she found that the individuals that were supplementing with fluoroglow lutein showed significantly increased performance in a spatial memory task. So that's your ability to remember where things are visually in space and recall that. And you can see here, these are the individuals that took the lutein and zeaxanthin, and these are individuals who are supplemented with the placebo. She also looked at individuals who showed MPOD, um, uh, significant MPOD increases and found additional cognitive benefits with complex attention and reasoning ability. So incredibly excited, uh, exciting study. All these have been published and are available and we're very happy to collaborate with as many researchers as, as possible as they start to pursue uh, what's the role of lutein in the brain and cognitive performance. One last study I'll share with you is we know that people are starting gaming earlier and earlier, right? So what's the role of lutein in children? What do we know about how um, levels of lutein correspond to cognitive performance and how that might relate to the gamer opportunity? As I said, fluoroglow lutein is an ideal ingredient for younger kids because of our safety. Um, so this was a study uh, from Dr. Naman Khan's lab at the University of Illinois. 
And what they did is they took 40 children between the ages of 7 and 10. They measured their lutein levels by using that MPOD device, so non-invasive, pretty simple way to measure lutein. And then they did a test called relational memory. This is a test that relies on your hippocampus, an area of your brain that's extremely important for learning and memory. It's sensitive to nutrient interventions, and it's also where we grow new neurons. It's very important for development, so really critical brain area called relational memory. So you guys can take this test right now. So they saw this for 10 seconds. They were shown five objects. This was repeated across multiple trials. They had to memorize where those were. You guys are much you know, smarter than seven to 10 year olds, so that's how much time you get. And then they were lined up like that, and then they had to put those objects back into place. So they had to put them back exactly where they saw them. So they would move them back. Again, they did repeated trials of this, really looking at binding objects with space. That's what relational memory is. So how did this individual do? Good. Get it, got it, kind of. Uh, if we go, oops. If we go back, uh, got it, kind of, close, a little bit. There's four types of errors they can make. They can make uh, edge resizing, swaps, displacement, and misplacements. So looking at all four of those errors, the researchers saw that all the kids that had higher levels of MPOD made significantly fewer errors across the board. So here you have all four of those error types. Along the x-axis is their MPOD values. So as their lutein levels went up, the number of errors that they made went down for all four of the errors that we looked at. So really exciting time. And just to wrap up, I'm getting the stop card here. Perfect, is that we, again, back to Floriglow Lutein, the most researched lutein brand. We really care about the science. We support the science. We have eight clinical studies showing Floriglow Lutein's impact on brain and cognitive health. Also, the Blue Light brand, we have 70 clinical studies showing that when you give Floriglow Lutein, MPOD values increase showing that you really can get that blue light protection. And finally, our safety profile is something that we're very proud of. The only lutein brand that's um, grass for infant formula. And we have 15 clinicals on infant and maternal nutrition. So I hope you come by our booth. Definitely get the MPOD tested. We have a little contest going even. So if you think you eat a lot of uh, spinach, maybe you'll be very high on that value. And then talk to our team members if you're interested in looking at Floriglow Lutein and the Gamer Opportunity. Great. Thanks, Brenda. Thanks. Appreciate that.